just heard the UPS truck rumble up and hot rod Christmas junk. Aha. Sounds like a big heavy stereo. Need someone to help you with that? Phew. Is that a big heavy stereo in that box? I don't know. Drop it on the ground, we'll see if it shatters. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Stayed home from work. Yep. I've got work to do. Hey, can we put this big apartment slum next door in a big box and ship it somewhere? Like to the landlord's house and put it right in his front yard? I was going to say you could just, well, actually, come inside. Let's find a place for it. Perfect. I'll let you drop it on the ground. Wow, that's a big box. Have a good day, sir. Gotta love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do I have no signature? Nope, we're all good. Oh, cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Whew. There it is. $46 shipping. Double boxed. Yep. I hope it's the uh, receiver. Yep. Stroudsburg Trading Post. Let's open her up. I wonder how many peanuts are in there. Hmm. Where can I put this camera? Look at that. I was online checking and it said out for delivery. You know what that means. It means out for delivery. Oh, I got my tripod in my pocket. Wow. $46 shipping. And to think I was in. Uh, here comes the white cat to steal the black cat's food. The black cat used to eat her food all by herself. She was self regulating until I found this little abandoned handful of disaster in the basement. Flea infested. Just felt bad. Took her home and now she eats the black cat's food. So we can't leave food out for the black cat. So we gotta lock the white cat in a different room and she eats. Everything. This little cat is right back to her old routine, eating her slimy food. She dumps a few on the ground. She eats from here, goes, puts it over there, just like a dog does. You're not gonna eat the black cat's food. You understand? And don't bite my finger either. She got into a fight a couple nights ago. She likes to go out, out at night, just like every other neighborhood cat. And you hear screeching in the middle of the night, you never know if it's your cat or what, but uh, we've had her probably five, six years, I suppose. And she came home a couple days ago with her ear all scratched up. So who knows what happened to her. Oh, here we go. Peanuts. <sighs> they sure wrapped this thing up well. What am I going to do with these peanuts? If I open it outside, they blow around the neighborhood. I wouldn't want to litter up my neighborhood. Actually, who cares if I litter up my neighborhood? It's all full of broken glass and charcoal and dog poop, which I stepped in some this morning. Luckily, it was frozen. You know the best way to get peanuts out of a box is to vacuum them. But you need a huge hose to vacuum. I don't want to make a mess of the house. Wait a minute, Mrs. CW is not here to kill me. Look at that. There it is. Time to package up all these peanuts. Give me a minute. All right, I got a dustpan, I got a couple plastic bags. Oh yeah, black cat's done, white cat moves in for the kill. Lick the bones. So, I turned off the Velvet Underground, Lou Reed's band, and I'm gonna play Burt Bacharach's Greatest Hits. I don't even think I ever bought an 8-track tape new. I was never into 8-tracks. I was a little young. 1970, I would have been 10 years old. I was more of a cassette person. I did have an 8-track player, but cassettes came along, and my formative years were dictated by cassettes and LPs and 33 RPM disco full-size discs. <laughs> Oh, number three lamp is on. Look at that. That's an improvement from last night.
unless I'm missing one of these tracks. I notice that I had some side talk or cross talk. I think I need a garbage bag for this. Maybe I'll mail these peanuts back to the guy. Oh, yeah. We'll dissolve them in some gasoline. Bossa Nova! What else we got here? The Captain and Tennille. tracks playing at once. All right. Dusty, look at the size of this thing. Man, got two tracks playing at once. Needs an alignment. <laughs> oh, thank you all so oh, much. Oh, thank you so much for listening to my music. Okay, enough of that. 
Neil Sedaka. Made in the USA. With Star Apple, Stan Applebaum and his orchestra arranged and conducted by Gary Sherman. I'll probably get penalized. This advice that I give. A heart in a world. I love, I love. Your answer was uh -oh. goodbye. There was even posted. You heard me. There we go. system. Play, calibrate, a tape, tape monitor. All right, I'm going to come home tonight and hook her up. I got to clean up the peanuts all over the floor. Timer. Filter. Dimmer. Meter. Sure. Alright, show's over. I gotta get some kitchen cabinets. And, uh, maybe I'll just leave this mess here. You know the funny thing? Nobody will even know except me. And you. Oh, Carol! <laughs>